Close to 100 investors have expressed interest in 50 acre plot located in near the inland container depot in Mayumayo. Among the major projects expected on the land and around 10 kilometer buffers zone include patrol station, housing estate and also to build hotel to improve the hospitality sector in the country. In the social economic zone, the planning process is ongoing. We had a joint uh, planning meeting with the ministry and we were able to get uh, participants give their views which we are considering and in a bit we shall be able to release the amended plan so that we allow investors now to start doing their work, constructions and also bringing business into that area. And in this season of politics we would be the last people and citizens of this country and the county to hear that it would move away from Naivasha. So we are graced as a technocrats to confirm to potential investors that that's a place to be and in a bit you get a a plan that is permanent, amended, and that has a capacity to hold all the interests of different uses, including the hospitality industry, conferencing, and many other businesses that were attracted when we called for investors. In the last couple of months, the dry pot has become the center stage of politics, with Deputy William Ruth warning that if he elects in the office, he will relocate the surface to Mombasa. Yeah. According to the chief officers in charge of the land in Nakuru, Jodili Waihenya, 80 investors have been vetted and will be given letters of the confirmation to work in the... Waihenya say that they have engaged area residents and investors with the amendment plan set to be released so that the investors' parties will hint the ground. According to the 50-acre parcel that we got as a county, we were able to attract about 80 investors who have been vetted they have been given their letters of uh, confirmation and they will soon, after the plan is approved, they will be getting their subleases to start their work. Any noble person knows how much has been spent on that uh, project by the national government and the impact it is bringing in our county. So I don't think that is an area of discussion. The point is, how do we utilize what has already been invested? There is already money that has been spent. Let's get value for that money that has been spent. Okay. Majorly, of course, we have looked at the local scenario because we have potential investors within Nakuru County. But we are not fixed to that. We have also considered uh, international investors who have had interest when we did the advert. But remember, beyond the 50 acres, once the investors are on place and in that area, they will attract investment opportunities even in the neighborhood, in the, in the whole of the Nakuru County. So definitely it will also attract international investors. The CEO dismissed call to relocate surface of the dry pot, noting that a lot has been put on the ground, adding that leaders should focus on utilizing what had been invested. Wahenya at the same time added that plan to issue Gilgil and Molo with municipality charters were in place a couple of months after Nakuru became a city. She also said that the county had to date issue over 250 title deeds, surpassing the 100 mark which had been set under the presidential title deed program. From tomorrow, you'll also see in the next one week, we'll be giving charters to Molo and Gilgil. That means so much in terms of development of Nakuru County and the investment opportunities that everybody is looking for, especially after the COVID season when we are now ready to go back to serious business. To the local residents, one, it definitely will attract a lot of funds from donors. Even the national cake must be shared to these areas in terms of improving infrastructure, taking care of this population that has qualified them to be municipalities, and also affirming them in terms of, uh, let's say, tightening programs, KSIP, and so on. And also to the investors, we are sure now that you'll attract security because where there is municipality issues, security is also up upgraded. Where there is a municipality status, funds are available. And with this kind of infrastructure, the investors can be sure and comfortable putting their money in such areas. On his part, a member of the Naivasha Municipal Board, Absolom Mokisi, said that they have eased the process of getting lessons for investors keen on the special economic zone. He denied that the post office has been relocated from Mombasa, adding that facility in Naivasha was complementing what has been done in the coast. Uh, as a board, uh, we know uh, the, municipal, uh, the industrial park is not within our uh, jurisdiction, but uh, being the municipality and uh, being within Naivasha uh, sub-county, we have been able to set in um, a number of programs that are going to facilitate, especially uh, investors, because most of uh, the licenses are supposed to get from 
Naivasha. So we've uh, um, put in uh, processes that uh, will facilitate, will make it easier for them to be able to get their licenses, to be able to set up their businesses, to be able to set up uh, the constructions that they want to do. I know this is something that had already had been decided, that uh, we have the dry port in, in Naivasha. So, and, and it's complementary actually. It's not essentially that we, the services were moved from, from Mombasa. What happened is just, uh, just trying to facilitate, to ensure that the processes of clearing goods is, is easier, you know. So it's not that all the services were moved from Mombasa. No, Naivasha is just complementary to Mombasa. Reporting for Ibri News, my name is Maslah Bishar.